The presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party in the 2023 presidential elections, Atiku Abubakar, has indicated his readiness to remain in the political sphere despite his loss at the Supreme Court on October 26, 2023, which affirmed the electoral victory of President Bola Tinubu. Atiku disclosed this at a World Press Conference while reacting to the Supreme Court verdict in Abuja, which he says leaves much to be desired. While he expressed confidence that history would vindicate him. Atiku further added that Nigeria is there's little or no hope for the country's democracy and electoral policies. Speaking on the outcome of the electoral system, Atiku remarked that the trust of Nigerians is eroded and this has left the nation's democracy on life support. As long as Nigeria wins, the struggle would have been worth the while. By that, I meant that the bigger laws would not be mine, but Nigeria's, if the Supreme Court legitimizes illegality, including forgery, identity theft, and perjury, as it has done. If the Supreme Court the highest court in the land implies by his judgment that crime is good and should be rewarded, then Nigeria has lost and the country is doomed irrespective of who occupies the presidential seat. We can urgently make constitutional amendments and I'm happy uh, members of the National Assembly are here. That will prevent any court any court or tribunal from hiding behind technicalities and legal sophistry to affirm electoral haste and undermine the will of the people. Our democracy must mean something. It must be substantive. Above all, it must be expressed through free, fair and transparent elections that respect the will of the people. Firstly, we must make electoral voting and collation. Members of our National Assembly here present, we must make electronic voting and collation of results mandatory. 